Today we are going to talk about word problems involving subtraction up to 20. What are word problems? Do you remember? Word problems are math stories that require you to find the answer to a question they give you. Remember that there are some things you should know before you solve any type of word problem. First, you must read the problem. Then you circle your important information. The important information includes the numbers in the word problem, the keywords, and the question. Next, you write your number sentence based on the information you circled. And after writing your number sentence, you draw your picture to match the story. After you have drawn your picture to match the story, you are ready to solve. So what does that look like with subtraction? Let's give it a try. First, we need to read. So let's go ahead and read this word problem. There are 15 buses at the school. 17 drive away. How many buses are at the school now? Now I have to circle my important information. Remember that the important information includes the numbers and the keywords. So I know that 15 is important because that's how my problem started. Then seven is also important because that is how my number is going to change. That means I can write my number sentence. 15 minus 7 equals. Remember, I chose a minus sign because the words drive away means that they went away. And then my question is how many buses are at the school now? So let's take a look. Let's draw the picture. Here I have 15 circles. I drew 15 circles to represent the 15 buses that we started with. Now I need to take away 7. I can just simply mark them with an X. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you see how many buses were left? What was the answer? Good, the answer was 8. 8 buses are at the school now because 15 minus 7 equals 8. So let's go ahead and solve some word problems. Are you ready? Let's go. Jim got 12 gifts for his birthday. He opened four of them. How many does he have left to open? Remember that the first step was read. That's why I went ahead and read it for you. Now we have to circle our important information. What do you see here that's important? Good. I hope you said 12 and 4 and opened. And of course, the question, how many does he have left to open? Left is a very good keyword that lets us know that we need to subtract. So now we write our number sentence. The number sentence will look like this, 12 minus four. 12 because he got 12 gifts and four because it's the number that he opened. The minus sign is gonna help us determine how many he has left to open. Now, let's draw our picture. How many presents did you draw? I hope you drew 12 because 12 is the start. How many are you going to mark off? Good. Let's count it off. One, two, three, four. After I marked off my four presents, how many does he have left to open? Good. So, Jim has eight gifts left to open because 12 minus four equals eight. Good job. Let's read this word problem. That is our first step. There are 12 pigs in the mud. Nine of the pigs get out of the mud. How many pigs are left in the mud? Now that we read the story and the word problem, let's circle our important information. Can you see what's important here? Excellent, 12 is important. Nine is important. Get out is important because that's letting us know that now we have less. And how many pigs are left in the mud is important because that is the question that we need to answer. Now that we have our uh, important information circled, let's write our number sentence. What is that number sentence gonna look like, friends? Did you say 12 minus nine or nine minus 12? Which one is it? <laughs> right, it is 12 minus nine. My start is 12 and my change is minus nine. And right now we're trying to find the difference. Now we're going to draw our picture. How many pigs are you going to draw? That's right, you are going to draw 12 pigs because that was our start. Now, since nine of the pigs got out, how many pigs are we gonna cross out? That's right, we are going to cross out nine. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many pigs are left in the mud? Excellent. 12 minus 9 equals 3. Here's the next one. Let's go ahead and follow the first step, which is read. Let's read the word problem. The hat store has 17 red and yellow hats. They sell 12 of them. How many red and yellow hats are left? What is important here? That's right. All of that information is important, so let's go ahead and circle it. 17 is important because that's how much we started with. Cell is important because that means that some of them went away. 12 is important because that let me know how many of them went away. And how many red and yellow hats are left is the question that we need to answer, so that is very important. Now let's write our number sentence. What is our number sentence going to look like? Is that what you said? I hope it is. 17 minus 12 equals blank. 17 being the start, minus 12 being the change, and the blank being the difference that we are looking for. Here are the hats. They're not red and yellow, but they're red and black. <laughs> so how many hats did we draw? That's right, we drew 17. How many are we marking off? That's right, we are marking off 12 hats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many hats are left? Good job. 12 minus, perdón, 17 minus 12 equals 5. All right, so now it's your turn. Take a look at the word problems I have given you today. Use your strategies and don't forget to read, circle, write, draw, and solve. Good luck.